All right, we're gonna do a quick reminder video on integer man and integer song. First, we're gonna go over integer man. We use the integer man when we're multiplying and dividing. So integer man is for multiplying and dividing. So if I have something like negative two times positive seven. So we do regular multiplication. So two times seven is 14. But since I have a negative, I have to use my integer man. So he has two negative eyes and a positive mouth. So when I have a negative two, I mark out my negative. Positive seven, mark out your positive. I have a negative left. So that's what my answer is, negative 14. All right, and then if we have something like negative six times negative eight. So those are both negative. Again, do regular multiplication. Six times eight is 48, but I need my integer man. So go ahead and draw him. And then I have a negative six. So I mark out a negative and a negative eight. So I mark out a negative, a positive is left. So it's just positive 48. And then if I have something like three times negative seven, so the negatives in the back still doesn't matter. It's still three times seven, which is 21 in German, negative, negative, positive. So I've got a positive three, negative seven, negatives left, so it's negative 21. And just like normal, if you have two positive numbers, something like five times four, there's no need to use integer man, so it's just 20. All right, then we're gonna look at integer song. We use our integer song when we add and subtract. All right, so if I have something like negative six plus five, so this one, I need to draw my line, separate my numbers. I draw my line right after my first number. So I have a negative six, positive five. Are my signs same or different? I got a negative and a positive. So they're different, I subtract. Six minus five is one. Take the sign of your bigger number, that's what we always forget. So it's negative one. Six is bigger, it's negative. So my answer is negative one. All right, so the next thing we can look at is something like two minus nine. So we think to ourselves, two minus nine, I can't do that because it's gonna be a negative. Still draw your line right after your first number. This is a positive two. And back here, this is a negative nine. If there is a negative back here, it stays negative. So are my symbols my signs, the same or different? Different, so I subtract, nine minus two is seven. Nine is bigger, so it's a negative, so it's a negative seven. All right, let's look at a different one. If I have negative three minus seven, draw your line after your first number, rewrite your numbers. I got a negative three, this is still a negative seven. So are my signs, same or different? They're the same, so I add. Same signs you add, different signs subtract. Same, so seven plus three is 10. But on this one, I still take the sign of the bigger number. Seven is bigger, it's a negative, so it's a negative 10. Okay, and let's do one like this. I have four minus a negative six which can also be written as four minus negative six without the parentheses, but you're typically gonna see it with the parentheses, all right? So this is where people mess up. You still draw your line right after your first number. This is a positive four. And then if I have two negatives or a minus and a negative next to each other, they make a big positive. So this is now a positive six. Signs are the same. They both have positives. So I add four plus six is 10. Six is bigger, it's positive. So my answer is positive 10. 
The last type one, one you will see is negative 10 plus 10. Draw your line after your first number. Negative 10, positive 10, different signs, subtract. 10 minus 10 is zero. No need for a symbol, zero is just zero.